So I tried to use what I had available. Aside this Meryl, I actually did build the Meryl. But I have like no charge TMs because I used a lot to get frustration off Shadow Pokemon, which I already didn't have a lot to begin with. I don't even couldn't even get frustration off all the Shadow Pokemon I wanted to. But I did want to make this video just to kind of talk about this format and why I'm not going to be playing this week at all to play this format. Um, you know, one, let me just focus on the team real quick. I'm probably not even going to make a graphic here. If there's a graphic over there, then I must have been bored. Um, <laughs> like legitimately, um, I, these are some, these are my first battles from yesterday. I played three sets yesterday um, and I decided not to play anymore after that because I just realized that this is just, this is the, th okay, let me just say, first of all, one of the issues with Pokemon Go PvP tends to be that there's certain Pokemon that you gotta grind a lot for, meaning you gotta get a lot of XL candy for them. I don't play Master League myself. I understand that is a very popular format for people. I'm not someone that actually raids like that. I live in Los Angeles too. Like, understand, like, I could be hitting up raid groups, doing raids. I could have level 50 legendaries if I really wanted to. But I really don't like the idea of investing my time and money like that, personally. If I'm doing it along the way, sure. But with the way I've been playing the game casually, I don't even think I have even 100 XL candy on any legendary Pokemon in my inventory. But, but that's besides the point. So Master League is only one format that exists here in Go Battle League, right? So I could avoid playing that and I could still play Great League and Ultra League, blah, blah, blah. I mean, even within those formats, there's still XL Pokemon that are prevalent, that are a thing. But, you know, someone like me who's been playing since the start of the game, I actually do fortunately have a decent amount of these Pokemon in my inventory just built from seasons ago that I can just charge DM them when there's move buffs, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, in this format, I always thought the Little Cup was a format that was introduced for more casual players in general. Like, I thought the whole idea was, hey, you don't want to sink your resources in some crazy format. And wow, it's, we could use these little baby Pokemon that typically don't get to see play. But the irony here is that there's level 50 Pokemon that are running around in the Little Cup. In less than 500 CP, there's level 50 Pokemon. Shuckle! <clears throat> I mean, granted, if you have that foresight and you already were playing a little cup where Shuckle was already in it before, sure, maybe you have the time and maybe you're walking your Shuckle. I mean, more than likely, I feel like people are just using a rocker or something to get the XL candies on some of these Pokemon. Or maybe you've hatched so many eggs, you got it. Like, I think Shuckle was in the egg pool, or still is, maybe. But, personally, I'm not, like, I literally just blew... Like 400,000 Stardust to power up this mer this little Meryl on my team. And it just like hit me. What am I doing building something for this Little Cup format? And not that it's not fun to play. It's a mixture of things right now. Like, yeah, I'm making a comment about how expensive some of these Pokemon can be. And the ones that are meta. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you have to build entire teams around countering Shuckle. And the off chance someone's running it is slightly annoying, but that's the issue. Like Pokemon that are meta centric of a format that require XL candy. I just feel like that's not a real competitive game at that point. That's really insulting to the player's time. And I'm not trying to say that if you run Shuckle or if you run these Pokemon that you have a problem <laughs> or like, you know, I'm saying that the game itself forces this like distinction of like time investment in the game. And I don't really think that's a good place to be in a game but anyways, it's just Little Cup, right? But right now, the only formats that are available are Master League in this Little Cup. And it's like, that's the point I'm trying to make here is that I'm taking this week off. And I understand if you are too, or if you're not interested in this video even. <laughs> like, like, I'm barely talking about the battles itself. Like, I'm using a Dupiter. Did you know this thing is called Dupiter? I was looking online because, you know, I got... I call it Oranguru, and they're like, it's a Ranguru, you know, in the comments. And, you know, it makes sense. It's a Rangatang, right? But this thing is called Dupiter. I thought it was du Dupiter, 
because it's like, you know, Dew and Spider, but it's actually called Dupiter. And yeah, I would have never guessed that if I didn't see it in the anime. But yeah, my point, I got a little distracted there. I want to make this video just kind of showcase, not only is this format just like weird in the sense that I, I don't know. I feel like they should ban XL Pokemon in these formats. I feel like it would just be better because where I'm at ELO wise, I'm, I, I was thinking about it. It's like, oh, I hope I don't run into these crazy XL Pokemon. But the thing is, the higher ELO you get, that those are the teams you're facing because that's what people use to climb. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, granted, you could run anti shuckle teams, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some out there. Some YouTuber who cares more than I do is going to sit down and break it down for you. But at the end of the day, the state of the game is bad also. I actually have a battle in these two sets where it's just like... It's one of the reasons why I didn't push harder, actually, in the Sunshine Cup. I mean, granted, I put out two videos that kind of revealed all of my secrets and... Sure, I could have just selfishly... Maybe it's better at times to just selfishly use a team and push off stream, like off the internet. But yeah, I feel I feel like by the end of the week, everyone was like all... They are very aware of SmackDown Chestnut. But regardless, it was still like a good push for me. But the state of the game also turned a lot of my like 4-1s into 3-2s and 3-2s into 2-3s and 2-3s into 1-4s. And all those like number differences are huge impacts on your MMR in different ways. And I've just been thinking about like if I'm playing a full day of sets and I'm just getting two threes, three twos, was that really worth my time? I mean, sure, it's nice getting the Stardust and some of those resources, right? But I don't know, like it's like a double-edged sword. Like I, I, at the beginning of every season, especially this one, it's been a while since I've been excited to kind of play the game again. But yeah, I guess ultimately the state of the game, it feels really bad. And I mean, I'm an Android user, so you know I'm down bad here. And yeah, for the most part, um, I just kind of wanted to like discuss in this video how the state of the game's bad. These formats are bad. Like, it's just like, why is this happening? <laughs> like in the middle of the season where... You know, like I said, you think Little Cup is, it can be more accessible for sure. But like, ultimately, I just feel like these formats are so annoying just due to the fact that you have to play around these XL Pokemon that are in the format. Even Meryl is another XL example. I mean, I just told you I blew how much Stardust on this thing just to get it like that. And like, yeah, you could just build a hundo or whatever, but that's the thing. Like, you're going to end up losing in the mirror match against the more optimized Meryl. So yeah, at the end of the day, um, I don't think I'm going to play this week just because I definitely do deserve the break. Um, I'm so busy with life and other things at the same time that this is actually a welcome break. I mean, as much as I want to hit Legend this season, I'm also not going to like care if I not make it because I legitimately have been trying this season. I'm not even running like the craziest spicy teams in the world or anything. And I've like kind of got stuck at that 25, 26 ELO range right now. And that's one of the reasons why I don't want to play this is because I didn't really make any significant change. Like I, this first set I think is like a three, two set And my second set. Literally, I mean, I'm maybe spoiling it a little earlier. The matches might still be worth reviewing as we go on, but yeah, I literally should have had a four, one set and I get a three, two. And it's like, why am I playing? Like, all these matches are so reliant. I mean, all these ELO games are reliant on a set of five battles. Like, individual battles don't matter. So if I get a 3-2 versus a 1-4 or something, you know what I mean? It's just like, it just hurts your ELO so much more. And I'd rather just wait and see if I have a better shot. Waiting till Halloween Cup and any other format that we have left here in the Go Battle League. But again, like, I don't really, like... I mean, I recommend to you also as a viewer, like not to like put this game <laughs> over your own mental sanity because I mean, it's just not worth it, dude. Talk like I've hit legend. I played this game for a long time and for the last two years, I've absolutely not cared about hitting legend in this game. I've been bored with the state of the game meta wise. They've made some cool updates occasionally that made me interested initially, but then it just feels like the same game again. 
And this new update for the game with the moves and the meta change has actually been really cool to see how the meta shifted. And I'm sure it'll get stale at some point, like everything tends to. But yeah, like the actual state of the game where the lag outs, the weird like you know, like infinite charge move. That's actually what's going to happen in one of these matches. It just feels like very nefarious at times, even though it could just be the servers. It's just like the timing of it is just always so convenient for my opponent to get me the lag out. And I don't know, it's hard for me not to assume, especially now that more people are aware of the exploit, that people aren't just exploiting the crap out of this game while they can. I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to... I think in this, I'll show you actually, um, in this battle, not this one, but in the one where I'm like lagging out, I'll pretty much show you it. Like, we'll just go from there and you'll see how I pretty much got screwed over there. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I do not care. Like these battles take forever also. Like it's like Little Cup should have been... When Little Cup is just fast paced, I mean, there's like level 41, 43 Pokemon aren't really like that much of a difference. But when you have like level 50 Pokemon, I mean, granted, it's a Shuckle. Like Shuckle is not good. This is like the only format Shuckle will ever be good in. But the fact that like you have to grind so much to even get this Shuckle, it's like 400,000 Stardust to build it on top of the unlocking its charge move. And having all the XL candies that are required for this, this is just insane. Like, why would you rather have a level 50 Shuckle than a level 50 Dialga? Like, it's like the weirdest game ever. Like, the, to imagine that that Shuckle is the same amount of investment that it takes to get, like, <laughs> some level 50 Legendary is just absurd to think. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's like everywhere. Everyone's running Shuckle. I mean... Again, I'm not trying to like, it's not you that's the issue. If you play these Pokemon, you're just playing the game how it's supposed to be played, you know? Um, you know, maybe I'm the one who's not planning ahead of time. You know, I'm not, I'm not looking at the start of the season like, oh, Little Cup's coming in four months. I better get my Shuckle ready. Better get my rocker out and start walking that Shuckle or something, you know? It's like, like I've always been an advocate against XL Pokemon. Ever since their inception, I've always been no, like, no XL Pokemon. Like, I, I don't want to run them. Unless they're, like, so freaking bad that I just look like an idiot for even investing Stardust in them. Like, legitimately, those are the XL Pokemon I like to run. Like, Trap Inch, that's up my alley. It's not good. But when I win with it, I feel good. And that's all I care about at this point when I play this game. So... Ultimately, like, yeah, I have, like, zero commentary to really even say about these matches because I'm not even running. Like, the first set, I was running double water moves on my Meryl, by the way. I forgot to mention that. You probably saw that, like, what is he doing? I didn't even have charge GMs. I mentioned it at the beginning, but I had zero charge GMs to even give the correct move set on this Meryl. So, I'm not mad I invested the Stardust myself in the Meryl. It's more, like... It doesn't seem like a reasonable format to even invest your resources in. I mean, Master League makes more sense to at least invest and build towards. I mean, personally, I wish... Like, there's a part of me that wants to start building some of these legendaries. I even started doing routes more recently. For the first time, I'm actually collecting Zygarde cells. I think I have, like, four of them. Good start, right? It's... It's like... I don't know. I don't know what compelled me to start doing it, but am I like, it's more about like the journey in a way for me. Like, I don't necessarily care about getting that powerful Pokemon. If anything, it's like, if I feel like walking and using an incense, it's like, I'm just trying to optimize my experience when I'm playing the game now. I'm like, oh wait, there's a route nearby. I'll go walk to the route. And that's how, that'll be my little grind session for the day. I'll get a nice walk in, bam, maybe get a Zygarde cell. Cool. And then uh, Mate, Mateo, is that his name? The guy I'm able to trade a gift. Mr. Mateo, thank you, sir. But yeah, pretty much if you also are in the same belief system as me where you don't like this XL candy system in the game, you feel like either XL candies just need to be nerfed to some degree, like maybe you need less XL candies, maybe you need less, or maybe there's an easier way to obtain... Oh, shout out to Hebrew Hammer, by the way. This was kind of crazy I got in a battle with him i know this guy 
But so on my Jupiter, I'm actually running mirror code because that's what I had before. It's not like I was like, ooh, this will be good. They'll, they'll not predict this. I literally could not change this move. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, having that over a bug move is actually better, in my opinion, with all the poison types that were running around in this. I mean, yeah, like these little cup formats, the reason why I liked them before, because they would go so fast and they'd be done. And I'd like get all my battles done in such a short amount of time. It felt like I was being productive. But these battles with level 50 Shuckle and Merrill's running around, they run out, like these battles go to the timer. This is so dumb that I'm in a little format, a little cup format. My mustache hair is like going to my mouth, yo. It's probably like a sign I should just stop. Anyways, this is actually the battle that I wanted to showcase. Sorry, like, if you're still watching, please hit that like button. So people know that, you know, I'm just unhappy <laughs> about the game. But who cares, right? Like, we care if, that we're investing our time. But like, honestly, like I said, I'm just... I can make content out of this. I can go I can go live, show my terrible lag that I got in a battle and just be like, whatever, you know, I'm just going to go do something else and whatever, you know what I mean? But like suffering alone and playing this game a lot just has to be like one of the worst. I can't imagine. Like, I, I don't want to go on Twitter and even be negative and talk about this game. I don't want to give it any time of day on Twitter. You know, I don't even use X or Twitter or whatever it is like that. But yeah, I've noticed a lot of other content creators are just really fed up with the state of the game. And I don't know if this could have just been a guaranteed win or not. It definitely was looking like a good scenario for me. But yeah, look how long these battles take. I can't even believe this video. Like I've been sitting here talking to you. This is like such a long recording. How long is this video already? This video is like 17 minutes. And I'm freaking, uh, there's only two sets. I mean, that's not that unusual, I guess. But like, holy smokes, these battles are way too long than they need to be. The fact that it's a little cup and they go to the timer almost every match is just such a waste of time. Like, this is almost symbolic of Niantic. Like, it takes forever to grind for these Pokemon. And then playing the matches is, is also, just takes forever. It's okay, so we're getting close to the point where it lags me out. So looking really good for me, I think personally. Saving the shields for my Inke in the back, which more than likely will be a good matchup for whatever they have left. But here is where everything goes awry. Like what's this? How does this happen? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Well, I wanna I just wanted to replay this again, just to emphasize how absurd this is. So, I feel like this is a good scenario for me. I feel like I was definitely with my two shields and NK in the back, I had play. And then here, I'm like, I'm just gonna let Meryl go and farm down. And then it just stops working entirely. The whole freaking game just stopped working here. I could keep playing it a little bit longer, but it just never stops. I had like a minute or more of this recorded. And then I finally just realized, oh, I guess I got glitched out again. So that was a loss I got in this match that was just fairly annoying to deal with overall. All right, so here's the last battle. And yeah, honestly, the pain I feel even just like realizing how long these matches are after the fact, like, yeah, they felt long yesterday, but yeah, hitting the timer almost every battle, this is not worth your time. Like, this is just for like, I, it's, <laughs> I just, can't do this <laughs> like just seeing these little pokemon that are doing like almost no damage and knowing how much stardust they need to get to where they need to be and then how long the battles take it's just like i'll pass yo in fact do you even really care to see this last battle i mean I guess this could at least prove that it was a four it could have been a four one set if you see this. But yeah, it ends up being a three two set because of this other loss. Honestly, I have like my attention span, like it's I'm not even like someone that has bad attention span. I can't I'm looking at this and I don't feel like I've ever recorded a video and I felt like such rage. Like I don't even know if it's rage, it's not like 
really what I'm feeling. I just feel like annoyed, like disgusted almost. <laughs> like, but I feel weird saying that because it's like I'm not like. It's like this is what they want in the game. They want people to just be like building shuckles for a little cup. Like XL Pokemon suck, yo. Like legitimately it's such a plague to this game and apparently there's leaks that there's going to be a level 60 increase at some point i don't know what they're going to do at that point if, if 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 adding 10 levels from 40 to 50 are any indication of what the pokemon are going to cost to oh my gosh yo this game and like imagine pokemon go is not even going to be a it's a live service game it's not even going to be a game forever the fact that it requires so much just to play a, a format that is blind. <laughs> like, this is not even like a real competitive format, yo. It's a blind format. This is insanity. What the? This game, this company has lost the plot, yo. They don't know what the heck is going on. Or they don't care. Anyways, like the video. Take take care of yourselves. The Sasquatch is getting strong each and every day. Good morning, even after you're I'll catch you in the next one. I'm not even doing a real outro here. Maybe watch some more of my videos if you'd like. Peace.